Dr. Anders, how do you understand the meaning of the poor in spirit in the Beatitudes? I am having trouble understanding it. Yeah, thanks. So I, I take that to mean that the, a poor, someone is poor in spirit when they don't think they're the top dog on the block. And, you know, Jesus extolled the virtues of the publican who says, have mercy on me, Lord, a sinner, versus the Pharisee who says, I thank thee, God, that I'm not like that publican over there. And uh, so constantly Christ admonishes us to not take the highest place at the table, but to seek the lowest place at the table, and then maybe the master of the house will move us up the table. Uh, so it's not putting on airs, not putting myself forward, not, um, you know, and I think in real practical terms in the spiritual life, I mean, I do this, I know I do it, it's, it's a temptation all the time, to, to find my sense of value with some identity that I have donned. Mm. You know, so like I'm, you know, I'm, I have this job or I have that position or I have that reward or I have this person's regard and to find my significance in those masks that we put on, those roles that we play, which which ultimately are really of no value. I mean, that's what the story of the young King David is all about <clears throat> when Samuel yeah. goes and he picks out these guys that are you know, they look good or they have the right qualifications or they went to the right school or, you know, they can throw the spear the right way. And God says, nope, you're looking at the wrong stuff. Man looks on the outward appearance, but I look on the heart. And uh, that's easy to think about, you know, how we evaluate other people. It's really hard when we come to the evaluation of ourselves because most of us feel our sense of significance from some mask or role uh, that we that we imagine for ourselves and think that our significance is found therein. But to be able to set, stand utterly naked, uh, as it were, before God uh, and strip away all that, all that artificiality and recognize that we are just beggars, I think that's poverty of spirit.